Is there hope for Bam Marjorie at this point in his life? It might be cynical to say no, but there's a difference between being cynical and being a liar. When you see a path that someone is on, and they make the same mistakes over and over again despite having support, or it being obvious they need help, it's not cynical to think they'll keep making those mistakes until something big happens to change them. For Bam, many felt he might have finally gotten that shove to make him a better man. But messages to his ex may prove otherwise. We'll break it down for you. But first, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Number 6. The Relationship That Is Still Crumbling Former reality TV star Bam Argera turned himself into authorities this morning after a warrant was issued for his arrest earlier on this week. Now, state police say the 43 year old attacked his brother and threatened his family inside of their home in Pocopson Township, Chester County on Sunday morning. To say it's been a long journey for Bam to finally get the help he needs is an understatement, as he's been basically wrecking every part of his life this year for no real reason at all and that includes basically going to war with his ex and mother of his child. You see, Marjorie's lawyer Pete W. Thompson claimed that Nikki Boyd is not allowing her ex to see their son Phoenix. Marjorie then ran into the woods and vanished before turning himself in this morning. Or have any contact either on FaceTime or the phone. The last time they were in contact was the day of the screaming match and arrest, which was two months ago. Bam, Marjorie, and Nikki Boyd got married back in 2013 and had their child in September of 2017. What Bam and his team have argued, though, is that their marriage was never legal unless he didn't owe her anything. Well, John and Sarah, I just spoke with Bam Margera's attorney moments ago, and we're going to have more details on that. But he tells me that Bam Margera was arraigned here in Kennett Square this morning. He pleaded not guilty. Uh, he is charged or facing charges of harassment, assault, and four counts of terroristic threats. Now, all this stemmed from a domestic-related incident that happened back on April 23rd, as you mentioned, a domestic incident with his brother. Nikki Boyd claimed that Bam wasn't providing any financial support for their son, and Bam has responded to this in numerous and terrible terrible ways, such as by saying they were never really married. Thus why Boyd has been holding back his ability to see their son. It's a very messy situation and things weren't getting better anytime soon. We can prove this because at one point Bam was… Number 5. Threatening to Die uh, We're told that he was uh, at Margera's home in Pocopson Township here in Chester County. Police say he tried to break down his brother's bedroom door, and when the brother opened that door, investigators say Margera was seen urinating in the kitchen sink, and that's when the two started to fight. Now, Margera reportedly punched his brother multiple times and threatened to kill him and three others who were inside the home at the time. Yep, Bam was threatening to smoke crack until he's dead, unless he gets to see his kid. Do we really have to talk about how messed up that is that you're threatening death unless you see your son? Bam posted an alarming rant on his newest social media account, ripping his family and his estranged wife. He fled into a wooded area and turned himself into police today. And again, Margera's attorney tells me that his client seemed to be in good health uh, and good spirits, considering, of course, the circumstances. He was released on bail today. He is here in Pennsylvania today and should remain here uh, for the time being. Bam says Nikki and his relatives are driving him to drink, and he says waking up every day knowing he's probably not going to be able to speak to his son makes things even worse. At the end of the video, Bam threatens to go down to the boardwalk to smoke crack with the bums until he's dead, or until Nikki allows him to see his son. Nikki's attorney, David Class, said to TMZ after Bam's threat, Unfortunately, that's not how the addictions work. People's behaviors does not drive others to drink. This is a typical defense mechanism, and it shows that Bam may not have learned much in his past addiction treatment. You have to take responsibility for your own actions. Nikki sincerely hopes that Bam can first achieve and then maintain sobriety for his own good and for the good of their son. And that's another element to this. Bam really thought that this was the best way to see his son? Do you think his son wants to see his dad like this and threaten to take his own life just to see him? Yes, he's nine, but that doesn't mean he can't think for himself. Number 4. The Brother Following that, Bam's brother Jess asked people to help look for Bam after he went AWOL. If anyone in the LA area knows of Bam's current whereabouts or hotel he might be at, please call the LAPD immediately. So yeah, a scary situation. Thankfully for all involved, Bam was eventually found and was alive and seemingly unharmed. Yet because of the state that he was found in, he got some help, whether he wanted it or not. Number 3. Psychiatric Holding Because after being found, Bam Marjorie was placed on a 5150 hold. 
According to TMZ, police found the jackass star at Trejo's Tacos in Los Angeles, and due to erratic speech, behavior, and alleged suicidal threats, authorities determined he should be taken to a mental health facility. Under California law, if a person is considered a danger to themselves or others, they can be involuntarily held for a psychiatric assessment and crisis intervention for up to 72 hours. As it so happens, it was confirmed that he was discharged from the facility on Wednesday, which means he basically did serve the full time there, which is a rather telling thing. To be clear, what he's done is definitely worthy of being held for evaluation, and many were hoping that things would turn into a positive through this. After this event was made aware to the public, Nikki cited things responded. Nikki continues to pray for BAM's safety, sobriety, and mental health stability. She has reached out to BAM to try to set up FaceTime calls for their son, but BAM has either not responded or responded in a denigrating fashion. Nikki's attorney, David Glass, said to Yahoo on Monday, Nikki continues to place their son Phoenix's best interest first and hopes that BAM gets the help he needs so he can be stable, consistent, and be able to be a parent for their son. Nikki joins BAM's family's calls for BAM to get inpatient treatment for mental health and addictions. The term has been used in the media as Amanda Bynes, Britney Spears, and Kanye West are among the stars who've been placed under psychiatric observation. The number pertains to Code 5150, the section of the California State Welfare and Institution Codes (WIC), on the detention of mentally disordered persons for evaluation and treatment. The LAPD likely called in its mental evaluation unit to determine if BAM met the criteria for a 5150 hold. And based on reports, they felt he wasn't of sound mind and put him in holding. So the question was, once he got out of that hold, what's he gonna do next? Thankfully, the answer was, go to a place that can actually help him. Number two, Rehab with Lamar Odom. No, that's not a name of a reality show, yet. Don't give Hollywood any ideas, they're desperate right now. Lamar Odom is helping Bam Marjorie through every step of his detox and rehab process, even sitting bedside with the former Jackass star as he works to get better. TMZ provided photos of Bam in his new recovery room, and you can see Bam in a hospital bed, and hooked up to several monitors as he poses with the former NBA star. TMZ says Lamar was there as Bam was discharged from a psych hold and immediately got him into detox at one of his own facilities. It's obviously a good sign for Bam, who has been struggling for years with his sobriety. After detox, the plan is for Lamar to get Bam into a rehab facility for continued care. Lamar owns multiple rehab locations, so you gotta imagine he'll get some of the best care. While the duo may seem unlikely, Lamar's had his eye on Bam's story for quite a while. Even standing to TMZ several weeks ago, he wanted to help Bam's situation. And now he'll get that chance. Given all the issues that Lamar Odom has gone through during his life, it's easy to see why he would look to help Bam. For now, Bam is responding to the support and help and is trying to get better. And that's good that Bam is in a place and alongside someone who is trying to get him 100% healthy. Especially since we've gotten new information that Bam was quickly back to his old ways after a psychiatric hold. Number 1 The Messages According to Nikki Boyd, right after Bam got out of the 5150 hold, he started sending her messages which eventually got abusive in nature. David Glass tells TMZ Bam has started texting since his release from the 5150 hold, but the content quickly turned abusive, calling Nikki awful names, saying she is the cause of all the problems, even saying she's a gold digger. Now, timing is important to note here as it's possible that Bam was riding a high of sorts due to having been in a hold for a few days. Thus, it will be interesting to see what he does over the next few days and weeks as he tries to go through detox and rehab. If it all goes well, then Bam might finally turn his life around. If not, then there will be more problems on the horizon. And there you have it everyone, a look at the timeline for Bam Marjorie and whether these messages to his ex are a sign of more bad things to come, or just a small bump in the long road to recovery. Do you think that Bam will finally get better this time? Do you hope that Nikki won't have to suffer too much longer because of him? Or will there be another relapse that leads to more bad tidings? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.